Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most engine repairs will require some disassembly. Before you attempt this, make sure the engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. To replace the starter rope or gain access to the recoil spring and ratchet pawls, simply remove the nuts securing the recoil starter to the engine. You can now pull the starter off to replace the components inside. Once the starter is removed, you can lift off the engine cover and fuel tank assembly to access components like the flywheel and the ignition coil. To remove the flywheel, first disconnect the wire from the ignition coil and rotate the flywheel to move the magnets out of the way. Use a 10 mm wrench to loosen the mounting post, then unthread the post. Remove the mounting bolt to release the ignition coil. Now use a strap wrench to secure the flywheel as you use a 19 mm socket to loosen the retaining nut. This may require some effort. Unthread the nut and lift off the flywheel cup and fan blade assembly. Use a flywheel puller to remove the flywheel from the crankshaft. Reinstall the flywheel by aligning the slot with the flywheel key, then slide the flywheel onto the crankshaft. Replace the flywheel cup and fan blade assembly and rethread the retaining nut to secure. Using the strap wrench to secure the flywheel, torque the nut to manufacturer's specifications. Reposition the ignition coil and thread the mounting bolt and post to secure the coil loosely. Confirm that the magnets are rotated out of the way, then pull the coil back and tighten the bolt and post. Now rotate the flywheel so the magnets align with the coil. Insert a business card and loosen the bolt and post to align the coil the correct distance from the flywheel. Retighten the post and bolt and remove the business card. Connect the wire to the coil. Replace the engine cover and fuel tank. Reinstall the recoil starter by aligning it on the mounting posts. Then thread the nuts to secure. To access and remove the carburetor, first turn the fuel valve to the off position. Next, release the tabs to remove the air filter cover and pull out the filter. Now remove the mounting bolts securing the air filter housing, the carburetor, the gaskets, and spacer. Pull off the breather tube and set the air filter housing aside. Release the retaining clamp and pull the fuel line off of the carburetor. Be prepared for some fuel to spill. Detach the governor return spring, then tip the carburetor to release it from both the choke rod and the governor rod. Reinstall the carburetor by first inserting the choke rod into the choke lever. 
Then insert the governor rod into the throttle lever. Reattach the governor return spring. Reattach the fuel line to the carburetor and secure it with the retaining clamp. Now reinsert the mounting bolts into the air filter housing and align the gaskets, spacer, and the carburetor on the bolts. Reattach the breather tube. Then thread the bolts into the cylinder head and tighten. Replace the air filter in the housing. Then insert the cover tabs into the slots in the housing and snap the cover into place. You can now turn the fuel valve to the on position. To gain access to the rocker arms and timing cam in the cylinder head, first tip the engine back to a 90 degree angle. Now use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the bolts securing the valve cover. Pry the cover off. Be prepared for some oil to spill. Use a socket or a spark plug wrench to help remove the spark plug. Confirm that the piston is in the up position and that the rocker arms are loose. You can now slide out the pin or pins to release one or both rocker arms. To replace or install a new rocker arm, first confirm that the valve moves freely. Then align the rocker arm on the cylinder head mounts and slide in the pin to secure. Use a feeler gauge and the adjustment screw to set the gap between the valve and the rocker arm to manufacturer's specifications. To remove the timing cam, use a flathead screwdriver to slide the belt off of the cam. Now push out the pins securing the timing cam and remove the cam. Reinstall or replace the timing cam by inserting it into the valve opening. Then secure it with the pin. Make sure the alignment marks on the timing cam are aligned with the front edge of the valve opening. Once aligned, loop the belt onto the cam. Replace the spark plug. Be careful not to over-tighten the plug. Use a razor to scrape off the old sealer from the valve cover and cylinder head. Clean the sealing surface. Apply new sealant to the valve cover. Make sure the flat side of the timing cam pin is facing upward. Then align the valve cover on the cylinder head and thread the bolts loosely. Tighten the bolts in an alternating pattern and torque them to manufacturer's specifications.
Return the engine to a level position. With the engine fully reassembled, you can now reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug and confirm that the engine runs properly.